Hi, welcome to Star Tech Academy, where you will learn something new with every new video. So in this video, we are going to see that how we can translate using Google Bard. Now we have other tools also like Google Translate. So Google Translate has been one of the most popular tools while translating text. But Google Bard is better than the currently available tools at translating text. There are two reasons for that. The first one is contextual understanding. Google Bard understands the context of the conversation. You can provide the background or cultural context also. You can tell it that the conversation is between such and such people. You can tell it that the scenario in which the conversation is happening and based on that Google Bard will do the translation. Whereas such contextual understanding is not present in tools like Google Translate. In Google Translate, you will be translating word to word. There will be no input of context. Neither will Google Translate try to understand the context from the given text. Second is interactive clarifications. This means that once a translation has been generated, if you feel that Google Bard has misinterpreted or misunderstood some part of the text, then you can give it clarifications by further prompting and Google Bard will understand new input and redo the translation to accommodate the new information. In this way, Google Bard can improve on its own translation abilities. Let me show you one example of how Google Bard is better than Google Translate while translating text. So here I am in Google Bard and here I have written my prompt that translate these lines by Ramdhari Singh Dinkar in English. And here I have pasted this line. This is a famous line from a poem by Ramdhari Singh Dinkar. And this line is in Hindi. And this is not a simple line because it is from a poem and it has a lot of context. And we want to translate it to English. Let's see what Google Bard says first. So if I submit this response. So Bard translated it like this. The war is not over. Only the hunter is not the sinner. Those who are neutral, time will also write their crimes. And here is the context and the line to line explanation. And here you can see that it is more literal translate of line that the war is still remaining. Not only the hunter is the sinner. Those who are neutral, the time will write their crimes as well. And here is the meaning of the difficult words like Vyad, which means hunter or sinner. So Google Bard did a great work. So if you know what the lines in Hindi means, so you can tell that this is a very good translation in English. Not only that, it has maintained the structure of lines also. That is, this was the first line of the poem and this was the second line. And here also, this is the translation of the first line and this is the translation of the second line. And if I input the same thing in Google Translate and you can see that it has misunderstood a lot of it. It is saying there is still summer left. Only the hunter is a partaker of sin. Time will write the crimes of who are neutral. So maybe a part of it isn't understandable. But otherwise Google Translate completely misses that context. Whereas Google Bard understands what this poem means, who the poet is and Bard translated it accordingly. Now this is immensely powerful and you can use it in lot of places. So this capability of Google Bard can be used in translating business documents. For example, if you have launched a new product and you have new product documentation, suppose that product is to be used by product all of the world. You can generate the new product documentation in as many languages as you want. You can provide the context of the new product to Google Bard and the translation will be done accordingly. Similarly, if you are launching website in new places in different languages, you can do app website localization. If you are communicating with clients and partners all over the world, you can translate their messages or you can translate your message using Google Bard. A lot of companies are incorporating multilingual customer support by using Google Bard. 
so the user can input their own language and Google Bard will reply with the user's preferred language only. In the whole process, Google Bard will use the knowledge base provided in English language or in any language that you want while communicating in the other language that the user wants. Similarly, you can use its translation capability while training and onboarding of new employees and new customers. So now you have seen that Google Bard is actually powerful in terms of translation capability. So give it a try. For simple tasks, Google Translate as good as Google Bard. But if you have complex lines or complex sentence structure, in that case, Google Bard performs better than any other translation tool available online. So that's all in this video. See you in the next one. Thanks.